I was an Eminem fan, very hardcore Eminem fan for a while, like throughout all of end of elementary school, throughout all of middle school, throughout most of high school, I, I was a huge Eminem fan. Towards like sophomore year, I'd say is when I kind of fell out of it, but it's just because I started listening to it a lot more. And so just uh, by sheer quantity, he kind of got phased out. Um, I just grew as a person. So that being said, I am Gen Z. I'm a Gen Zer. I was born in 2002. I am 22 years old. I am like middle of the road, perfect middle area for Gen Z. I'm, I'm fairly certain. So that I feel like that makes me pretty a good candidate to review Eminem's album from that perspective, because there's been a lot of of hate and vitriol thrown Gen Z's way by millennials and Gen Xers. They, they, for some reason, believe we want to cancel Eminem. Gen Zers, I, the only way you could see Gen Zers as like that happening is if you think that calling music bad is, is trying to cancel someone. Nobody's trying to cancel Eminem. There's no reason to cancel him. We know he's edgy and, and everything, raunchy and stuff. He's been like that since we started listening to him. And most of our dads listened to Eminem, so we grew up with that. Um, if not our dads, I'm sure maybe your mom did. I, maybe I'm alone in this, but as a Gen Zer, I grew up around a lot of Eminem. A lot. Born, I was born right into his peak era, so of course. I have not heard the new album almost at all. I have heard uh, Toby, and I've heard... Houdini because he, he released both of those as singles otherwise I wouldn't have heard them before, yet because I have not listened to the album I have no idea if I'm going to like it or if I'm gonna hate it uh, I guess the only the best way to do this is to go song by song give you my honest rating out of 10 and then we'll do the whole album so Renaissance, overall, the beat was, was solid. I didn't have any complaints. What it seems to me, is what he's saying at least, is basically fans will complain about any album. He doesn't see fans, he sees a bunch of complainers. That was the line in the song. Maybe Eminem doesn't understand this because he didn't grow up with the internet um, as, uh, as I did. But the internet gives you access to everyone, pretty much everyone. There's always gonna be somebody who, who dislikes what you're doing. There's always gonna be somebody who complains, you know? To make an another song about that and I say another because he's made a lot of songs about his haters and his, the people who complain about him. This is, this is what, I don't even know how many albums he's made about it at this point. Because he's it's not even songs, he's, he's made albums about it. It's getting a little frustrating to hear this same shit. We get it. You're frustrated that some people don't like your music. You're still doing pretty good, dog. You got 80 million monthly listeners on Spotify. There are way more people who like you than dislike you so like just accept that and move on feels like you you are literally disregarding all of your fans just because some of them are disappointed that seems a little silly to me but uh it's not as bad as the one time he's like to anybody's pirated my music fuck you that shit was so stupid have you you grew up poor bro what that was real quick. I liked that song. It wasn't that bad. It's just the, the lyricism, the lyrics themselves are kind of frustrating and, and old at this point. Just tiring. Five out of ten.
if I'm not mistaken, I think the point of the song is that he has old habits, like saying the F slur, uh, stuff like just offensive things that he grew up with. So there's some of these lines that like, and me to him, outraged how fake. Nowadays, nowadays some gals, they just clout chase. So, statistically speaking, based on pure facts, um, most women who, who claim that, that, that something has happened to them, uh, essay related, the vast, vast majority of the time, they are telling the truth. And the majority of people who commit these acts do not see prison time or even any sort of consequences. The majority of these people um, who commit these acts, I, I do not really see the point in calling out the women, the, the very small percentage of women who try to use it to clout chase. It's all like, I get it. It's a huge news story whenever it happens or whatever, because it's it doesn't happen often. That's that's kind of the point. It's like, I get it. It can ruin a man's life. I'm a man. I understand that. I've seen it happen where fake allegations can ruin a person's life. Absolutely. But doesn't it seem counterproductive to be like, women are just clout chasing? I know he says some gals, but like, that makes it sound like it's like it's some huge number of people and it's just not it's 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 statistically factually not and that's that's a little frustrating he's talking a lot of it is like i'm getting canceled or whatever you're trying to cancel me and it seems like it's, eminem might actually believe the sentiment of gen xers and millennials that that people are trying to cancel him but nobody i who is it on Twitter? Like, cause Twitter doesn't, Twitter isn't a real place. That's, that place doesn't matter. <laughs> Canceling somebody is, it isn't even that effective. Cause like, unless you do something extremely horrific, canceling just doesn't do anything to most people. Canceling doesn't do shit. Um, if we're, if we're going to be honest, you're just complaining to complain at this point. But which is which is ironic because that's that seems like what you're complaining about. <laughs> Two out of ten. Move on. Why is, why is Christopher Reeves always catching strays? Even in 2024, Mans is catching strays. I just want to point that out. Like, I'm not trying to cancel Eminem. Oh, canceling. Um, I'm not trying to cancel him for that or anything. Just, why is Christopher Reeves still catching strays? I'm not even going to rate this. It's not a song. Um, let's move on. Brand new dance. I just said, why are we making fun of Christopher Reeves in 2024? Bro makes a whole song about the Christopher Reeve dance. I think it's just edgy for the sake of being edgy. Um, this one does feel like a song that would have been in like, maybe Relapse, which I don't think is necessarily a good thing. And, Four, four out of ten. Evil. Not bad. I haven't really mentioned it, but he, he has brought up Caitlyn Jenner a few times. Which I'm just like... Okay. Um, <laughs> Caitlyn Jenner is like, I think, should be made fun of. Uh, they've killed people and like 
car accidents. It's like it's a whole South Park bit. Eight out of ten. I think this one's the best one so far by a long shot. I, I hope it continues in this direction because then I think the album will completely redeem itself. Because I've the it was only the first like couple that I dislike so far. So yeah, we'll definitely see. See you at the next one. But then he goes back to being cancelled, talking about the PC police trying to cancel him. Or the PC police are gonna throw him in jail, was what he was saying. The PC police always trying to throw me in jail, yeah. What is he talking about? I don't... Am I missing something? My, my, my... Have I been living under a rock? Because I don't remember any point in which... Eminem was facing any sort of cancellation... Or, like, PC police. Who's he referring to as the PC police? I I honestly couldn't tell you. I, I mean, I know there's people online who are going to be like, Oh, this is so bad. I'm going to... He should be... He should not be allowed to make music. But, like, that's, like, ten people. You know? Who, who cares when you have 80 million who like it, the music? On a monthly basis. Just on Spotify alone. I just don't see how that small little group of people is even remotely bothering you. Um, it seems kind of petty. That's that's basically a good way to summarize how it feels. It just feels very petty. I honestly, everything, when he's not mentioning that, it's really solid. And to the point where I'm willing to, to give it a 7 out of 10. Just because I liked the, uh, the other parts in the beat a lot. I just didn't really like when he went on to talk about being cancelled for the 15th time. You know, you can see a pattern here. I just don't like when he's talking about getting cancelled. Yeah, that's, uh, yeah. 7 out of 10, next song. He hasn't gone one song without mentioning being cancelled. Gen Z, PC. Is this whole album just gonna be about this? I mean, I should have figured, but... And then every other line is just edgy for the sake of being edgy, like, I don't... It's not offensive, Marshall. It's just kinda lame. One out of ten.
He doesn't mention being cancelled or anything like that, luckily. Would have been very out of place if he did. So, I, I, I will give that one an 8 out of, out of 10. Yeah, 8 out of 10 is fair. He does talk about how he's offensive and how he's going to offend a billion people. No, you're not. No, you're not. A billion people aren't even going to watch the video or listen to the song. So, no, you're not. Maybe like a thousand at most. Like, calm down a little bit. You're not that offensive at all. Um, maybe you were back in the early 2000s, but... It's the shit we've seen, so... Like he even said earlier, if South Park was doing this, would you find it offensive? Um, dog, lots of people find South Park offensive too. They don't care. That's like, what you kind of have to do. But, um, on to Toby. I'm just going to make this into two part because I've already heard Toby, and um, it's decent. I like it. I like the Big Sean is actually surprisingly good because i like i'm pretty sure big sean's the one on like Katy perry songs like dark horse right so he was he's not good on those in my opinion um but he's a lot better here uh babytron does good too and eminem's verse is solid i don't remember him complaining too much about being canceled i'm sure he does i'm i'm sure he does i just i'm trying to get through this album i thought this would be easier i i usually enjoy doing things like this i i i will not ever touch this album again ever never again yeah so we're near the end so um next song No issue. It was really heartfelt. Um, I felt emotions while listening to that. Really solid way to end the album. A lot better than most of the songs. I'd give that another 8 out of 10. Um, and that basically concludes the album. Uh, I, I did skip a few skits, but like I said, I, I like skits. They're cool to include in albums. That I didn't think you guys needed to hear that again so now it's time to just talk about the album overall it's a lot of the same a lot of the same and it's not good it's not the same good stuff it's just the same i'm gonna get canceled watch me get canceled let's see how many terrible things i can say that'll get me canceled Nobody fucking cares, bro. Nobody cares. If you're a bad person, you'll get, you'll, people will stop, like, flocking to you and listening to your music and stuff. If you're not, then you're good. If you make too many jokes at the expense of, like, disenfranchised people, you're probably gonna lose the support of the disenfranchised. It's like... I don't know what to tell you, man.
probably a 3 out of 10. I There's not a single song from this album I'm going to add to a playlist. Even the 8 out of 10s were like... I don't know. Just not something I'd normally listen to, even. Um, it was good. But, like... You know. I don't know how else to put it. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.